Hello my sax playing friend, welcome to the saxophone embellishments challenge where I'm going to be showing you how to take your simple songs, take your simple melodies and make them sound pro with just a few different embellishment techniques on the saxophone. I've been playing saxophone for over 25 years and these embellishment techniques have really helped with putting more emotion into my playing, making my playing more expressive and just putting more life and character into the songs and melodies and even the solos that I play on the sax. Now if you want a PDF guide of these seven different techniques you can actually download them below this video. It's called the seven pro sax phone embellishments. It's completely free and it's going to help you with following along to this lesson as well. I've made a career from playing the saxophone for over 15 years now, playing and recording with top 10 selling artists, playing on computer games, movies, TV shows, and performing and touring around the world. And in each of these situations, I've had to use these embellishment techniques that I'm gonna show you today. I've been teaching these pro embellishment techniques for over 20 years now to thousands of students from all over the world online as well as in person. And I found a way to break down these professional embellishment techniques step by step so that they're easy to understand, easy to digest, so that you can start to really implement them in your playing, even if you're a beginner or have only been playing a few months. Now, some embellishment techniques are a lot harder than others, but I'm actually gonna show you how to do a couple of different techniques step by step on day three of the challenge. So today, I'm just gonna show you what the different embellishment techniques are. There's seven that I wanna show you. and I'm gonna give you an overview of them. And then on day two, I'm gonna actually show you the most important part about embellishing songs, which is memorizing the song first and memorizing the melody of the song first. A lot of students tend to skip over this part and try to do embellishments on songs they haven't actually internalized yet. And to help those students, I've actually created a five-step process for memorizing any song on the saxophone. So I'm going to be showing you that on day two. And then on day three, I'm going to be giving you two different embellishment techniques that you can implement today on any song. And it's going to give it more life. It's going to give it more character, give it more emotion, give it more expression. And I'm even going to show you how to do it on a really simple song. So stick around for these three days. Check out the other parts of this challenge. If you're on my email list, I'm going to be sending you each day of the challenge. So keep an eye on your inbox. This challenge is going to be super fun. You're going to get so much out of it. And I'm really excited to show you all these different embellishment techniques. Now I started learning these techniques early on in my musical development at colleges like the Royal Irish Academy of Music and Berklee College of Music in Boston and I learned these techniques from some of the top pro sax players in the world. And I was so lucky to get that information and really understand how to do these embellishment techniques correctly because if you don't learn some of these techniques the right way, you can actually really impede your development on the saxophone. You can actually get in the way of your progress. So that's why I'm excited to show you these techniques and show you how to do them the correct way. So first I'm gonna play you a simple song and then I'm gonna embellish the song with these different techniques to show you how different it can sound and how much expressiveness you can put in using these techniques. So I'm gonna start by playing the song Happy Birthday, which is a song I'm gonna show you how to memorize step by step tomorrow. And then I'm gonna show you how to embellish it step by step as well. So let me just play it for you first and then I'm gonna embellish it for you. <laughs> So that's happy birthday without any embellishments. And this is what we call playing the melody straight. That means we're not putting other character into it. We're not putting other embellishments on it. We're just playing the melody as it's written and as it's played normally. Now I'm gonna embellish happy birthday with different pro techniques. <laughs>
So that was the same melody, Happy Birthday, with seven different embellishment techniques that I applied to the song. And in today's lesson, I'm going to explain what each of those embellishments are so you can understand and maybe hear them when you're listening to your favorite sax players. So the seven different techniques that I used here are grace notes, bends, trills, turns, glissandos, falls, and growling. And I'm going to take you through each of these techniques today. So the first technique I want to show you is grace notes. And this is a way of putting a little accent on the note that you're playing, like this. So you're actually playing a note below the note that you want to play, and you're quickly going into the note. So for example, instead of playing this, I would put a grace note on that G with the octave key like this. So I'm actually adding in an F sharp before the G and I'm playing it really quickly. You can also play a grace note above the note like this. So in this case, I played the grace note above the G with the octave key, which is G sharp. It's usually a half step away. So F sharp is a half step below G, G sharp is a half step above G. So let's hear what the grace note above the note sounds like. So it's slightly different. You're playing the note above it instead of the note below it. And you can apply this to any note on the saxophone in any song or solo. So this is a great little technique and I'm gonna get into a lot more detail on day three. Where I'm gonna show you exactly where to apply this in the song Happy Birthday to make it sound more pro and give it more life. The next technique I wanna show you is bends or swoops. And this is a technique that a lot of beginners get wrong. They start to move around their jaw too much. They start to move around their lips too much. And it's actually a really bad technique that can get in the way of your progress. So this is a technique that people get wrong very often and start to overuse it and move around their jaw way too much when they're playing. So I wanna show you the secret to doing bends correctly. And it's actually really similar two grace notes. You actually take the note below the note and you bend into it slowly like this. So I'm still taking the note below G, which is F sharp, but this time I'm going really slowly into G instead of quickly. So a grace note sounds like this. And a bend sounds like this. So I'm actually not changing anything in my embouchure or my mouth. I'm using the key to bend the note slowly into G. Now there's actually a second way to do bends and that is using your throat. Not your jaw, not your mouth, but your throat. And the easiest way to practice this is to actually just use a mouthpiece by itself. So I'm gonna take off the mouthpiece and you wanna practice bending the note with your throat with just a mouthpiece like this. So I'm not actually moving my lips, I'm not moving my jaw, I'm bending the note using my throat. And the best way to do this is by going e -a -e -a. So you need to practice manipulating your throat and that's gonna make it a lot easier to bend notes using your throat or voice box, which is called voicing. So let's put the mouthpiece back on the saxophone and let's try to bend that same note just using our voice box. So 
So I'm bending that high G note just using my voice box and not moving around my mouth. Now you can combine these two techniques and play F sharp into G while using your voice box to bend the note like this. So there's actually three different ways to bend a note. You can go from the note below the note that you're bending and you can bend into it slowly using the fingerings on the saxophone or you can just use your voice box to bend the note or you can do a combination of both. But whatever you do, try not to move around your embouchure, try not to move around your jaw because this is not a good technique that's gonna get in the way of your sound and in the way of your progress. The third technique I wanna show you is trills and this is a great little technique that's gonna help you embellish melodies. It's very simple, all you do is take the note above the note you wanna do a trill on and play it back and forth rapidly. So let's say we take that same note G and we want to put a trill on that, we will play G up to A and go back and forth quickly like this. So it takes some time to build up your finger speed, but this is another technique you can use on the saxophone to do trills. If you're looking for some simple ways to do trills, there's a couple on the saxophone that are a lot easier than others. For example, B to side C. So B to side C is this middle side key here, and all you have to do is press this back and forth. So if we play B, and then we just move this key, press this up and down, we can get a trill. So that's a simple way of doing a trill on the saxophone and you can implement this technique on any note of a melody or song. Now if you can't quite get the trill, you can try something that's a little easier, which is just one oscillation of the trill. So instead of going back and forth G to A, G to A, G to A multiple times, you can just do it one time like this. So this is a great place to start if you wanna experiment with trills on the saxophone. It's a lot easier and you can really start putting more character and emotion into your playing with just this one technique. This embellishment technique is actually called a mordant in classical music. The fourth embellishment technique I wanna show you is turns. And this is also similar to a mordant or trill, but we're adding in another note. So let's take that same note, G with the octave key, and I'm gonna show you what a turn is. So we're actually adding in two notes, one above the G and one below the G. So we're going G up to A, back down to G, down to F, then back to G. And this is what we call a turn. And you can add these on any notes in any song by just adding a note above and a note below. So that's another great technique that a lot of pro sax players use when they're embellishing melodies. The fifth embellishment technique I wanna show you is a glissando, and this is a way of playing multiple notes all the way up to the note that you're targeting. So let's say we're targeting the G note and we wanna put a glissando on that, it would sound something like this. So again, this is another embellishment technique that adds emotion and character to your playing. And all I'm doing here is playing up the scale rapidly. So happy birthday is in the key of C major, and I'm just playing all the notes from the G and going up the scale all the way to the high G. Let me show you what I mean. So in this example, we're playing G, all the way up to the G with the octave key, and we're just playing all the different notes of the C major scale as we go up to the high G. So 
So again, you need good finger speed for this. This might not be a complete beginner technique, but once you start building up the speed, you can use this technique on any note and it's gonna give it a lot more life and character. The sixth technique I wanna show you is kind of similar, but it's the opposite way. The technique is called falls and it's a way of falling off the note that you're playing like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing that G note and then playing the notes of the scale below it really quickly. And I actually don't want to emphasize them too much. So I'm actually emphasizing the first note, making it louder and playing the rest of the notes quieter. So I'm putting a lot of breath in on the first note and then sort of releasing the air when I play the rest of the notes. Now you can fall into another note as well, like this. So in this case, I actually fell into each note of the melody and I did it chromatically. So I went from G, chromatically down to E, chromatically down to C. And again, this is another way to do falls. You can do it chromatically or you can do it within the notes of the scale. So you might've heard this technique on some of your favorite recordings as well. The seventh and final technique I wanna show you today is growling. And this is something you hear a lot in blues and rock music. It sounds something like this. <laughs> So I'm literally growling into the saxophone. I'm engaging my throat and making this noise. Uh, uh, while I'm playing the note. And you can start adding this technique to any notes, to multiple notes as you're playing. So this is really popular in blues and rock music. So you might hear solos that have that gritty sound and this is how they're doing it. And that's an example of using that gritty growling sound on the sax, which really embellishes your melodies, your solos, and gives it a lot more emotion. So there are the seven different pro sax embellishments I wanted to show you today. And I just wanted to give you an overview of what they are so you can start recognizing them on your favorite recordings. Now I go into a lot more detail on each of these embellishments inside my course, Saxophone Embellishments Simplified. I actually break down every single technique and show you how to practice them step by step. And I've had many students go through this course and see incredible results in such a short period of time because I'm showing them how to do the techniques slowly, how to take their time, how to break everything down so it's not overwhelming and it's not complicated, it's broken down into bite-sized pieces. I also show you how to implement these different techniques on different songs as well so you can start actually playing them in your favorite songs like the Careless Whisper sax solo or the Baker Street sax solo or even other songs like When the Saints Go Marching In. I show you how to implement these different techniques step by step. So that's everything I wanted to show you today. I really hope you got a lot out of it. Let me know what embellishment technique you like the most. Please comment below this video. I'm really interested to know which ones you enjoy the most and which ones you really want to learn the most as well. Now remember you can actually combine these different embellishment techniques in different ways too and that's something I discuss inside my saxophone embellishments simplified course in the meantime I want you to just review this lesson download the PDF guide below this video and tomorrow I'm actually going to show you the first step you need to take in order to start making your song sound pro and embellishing them like the pros on your favorite recordings. And that is memorizing songs and solos. So tomorrow I'm gonna to give you my five step pro process for memorizing songs and solos on the saxophone. So you can start memorizing happy birthday. And then on day three, I'm gonna show you how to implement different embellishment techniques step by step on individual notes on the song, happy birthday. So you can start embellishing melodies right away. Even if you're a beginner, even if you're only playing a few months, you're still gonna get a lot 
out of these upcoming lessons. So if you have been struggling with learning and memorizing songs and memorizing the fingerings of songs and you're wondering how am I supposed to embellish the melodies if I don't know how to play the melodies, then you need to come and check out day two of the saxophone embellishments challenge because this five step technique for memorizing songs and solos applies to every level, whether you're a beginner or whether you're advanced on the sax, you're gonna get so much out of this five step process and it's gonna really help you with improving your muscle memory on the saxophone and then eventually embellishing the songs that you love so you can start sounding like the pros on your favorite recordings. So I'm really excited to share that with you on day two. Keep an eye on your inbox if you're part of the email list. If you're not part of the email list, go ahead and download the PDF below. You'll sign up to my email list and I'll let you know about upcoming videos for the saxophone embellishments challenge. So keep an eye out for that second video. If it's already released, you can actually click on the link below this video and that will take you to that lesson. All right, my friend, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Comment below if you have any questions about the material in this lesson. And again, let me know what your favorite embellishment technique is. And until day two, happy playing. Mm -hmm.